hello good morning students today we will have discussion about directory structure in uh, operating system okay directory structure in operating system we will have various categories in directory structure in operating system we will discuss one by one uh, first we will understand what is a directory in uh, of a directory in operating system okay basically directory basically directory is a container okay that is used to contain folders many different files it organizes files and folders into hierarchical manner okay hierarchical manner means like this hierarchical manner okay and we will have some more discussion about this directory structure <coughs> okay directory operations to be supported include what are the different operations supported by a directory we can first we can search for a file okay and we can create a file and add a directory add to the directory and deleting a file erase from the directory deleting a file means erasing from the directory and uh, listing listing a directory that is uh, possibly ordered in different ways okay and rename a file may change sorting order that is a renaming a file and traversing the file system these all are the different operations supported by the this directory what are those searching a file creating a file deleting a file listing a directory renaming a file and traversing the file structure okay see you have a look on this diagram directory okay this is a directory as i told you directory is the hierarchical structure in operating system okay fine now there are several logical structures of a hierarchy we will discuss one by one okay first one is uh, just have a look on this diagram this is called single level directory okay this is single level directory single level directory is a simplest directory structure okay in it all files are contained in same directory okay which make it easy to support and understand okay a single level directory has a significant limitations okay however when the number of files increases or when the system has more than one user okay some limitations are what are those limitations number of files increases or when the system has more than one user since all the files are in the same directory single level in single level directory all the files in the same directory must have the unique name all the files are in the same directory must have the unique name okay and uh, if two users call their data set test then the unique name rule violated keep in mind okay this is all about uh, single level directory and we'll have some advantages and disadvantages of this single level directory also okay uh, advantage since it is a single directory so its implementation is very easy if the files are smaller in size searching will become faster the operations like file creation searching deletion updating are very easy in a such a directory structure and some disadvantages are also there in a single level directory okay there may be chance of name collision because two files cannot have the same name right and searching will become time taking if the directory is large in this cannot group the same type of files together okay okay guys now we will have discussion about uh, two 
level directory okay this is the second category we have discussed already single level directory now we will have discussion about two level directory in two level directory each user gets their own directory space each user get their own directory space okay and file names only need to be unique within a given user's directory okay and uh, third point we need to remember a master file directory is used to keep track of each user's directory i repeat a master file directory used to keep track of each user's directory it must be maintained when users are added or removed from the system okay a separate directory is generally needed for system files okay just a, have a look on this diagram okay this is called two level directory okay as we have seen a single level directory often leads to confusion of files names among different users the solution to this problem is to create a separate directory for each user in the two level in this two level directory structure each user has their own user file directory okay each user has this user user 2 user 3 user 4 has their own user file directory okay u f d means user file directory the u f d has user file directory has similar structures but each list only the files of a single user okay systems master file directory okay mfd mfd means master file directory is searches whenever a new user id logged in okay this is all about two level hierarchy or two level directory structure this is a hierarchical structure the second category in direct directory structure in operating system user file directory is there ufd master file directory is there mfd okay each user has their own user file directory n number of users are there each user has its own user file directory user file directory has similar structures all user files directory have similar structures okay and uh, what about mfd systems master file directory mfd is searches whenever a new user id is logged in okay now we will discuss tree structured directory okay tree structured directory in operating system okay what is a tree structured directory we will discuss this concept using one diagram okay and uh, this tree structure is a most common most common directory structure okay the tree has a root directory and every file name in the system has a unique uh, path name okay every file in the system has unique path name okay i repeat a tree structure is the most common directory structure the tree has root directory and every file in the system have a unique path okay and uh, just have a look on this uh, di this diagram is called a tree structure directory once we have seen two level directory as a tree of height 2 the natural generalization is to extend the directory structure to a tree of arbitrary height okay this generalization okay generalization is there right so this is called generalization 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 okay this root has this directory 
this root has this directory this root has this directory okay uh, root is this directory this root is a directory this root is a directory this is called generalization okay this generalization allows the user to create their own sub directories generalization allows user to create their own sub directories and to organize on their files accordingly okay what should we, what we should write uh, in examination about a tree structure directory first we should write a tree structure is the most common directory structure the tree has a root directory and every file in the system have a unique path okay and uh, the generalization generalization is there right this is generalization arrow mark downward arrow mark is there right this is called generalization this generalization allows the user to create their own sub directories and to organize on their files accordingly okay and uh, some advantages are there very generalized since full path name can be given this is scalable searching becomes very easy we can use both absolute path as well as relative path okay this is all about tree structure directory guys okay guys guys now we will have discussion about uh, uh, one more uh, directory structure in operating system that is uh, a cyclic a cyclic graph directories okay we will discuss this a cyclic graph directory using one diagram okay and uh, this a cyclic graph directories when it is used when the same files need to be accessed more than one place in a directory structure directory structure is there in directory structure different files are there different directories are there in those directories when the same files need to be accessed in more than one place in the directory structure okay it can useful to provide an a cyclic graph structure okay an a cyclic graph is a graph with no cycles and allows to share sub directories and files okay we will understand the definition okay and a cyclic graph is a graph a cyclic graph is a graph okay no cycles no cycles and allows to share sub directories and files okay the same file or sub directories may be in two different directories okay the same file or sub directories may be in two different directories okay no oh, fine have a look on this type this is called a cyclic graph directory this is called a cyclic graph this is root is there generalization concept is there directories are there okay it is used in the situation like when two programmers are working on joint project and they need to access files right the associated files are stored in a sub directory separating them from other projects and files of other programmers since they are working on a joint project so they want the sub directories to be into their own directories okay the common sub directories should be shared so here we use a cyclic directories okay and it is a point to know that note that shared file is not the same as copy file okay if any programmer makes uh, some changes in the sub directory it will reflect in the both sub directories okay <coughs> what we should write in examination you should draw this diagram for a cyclic graph directory and you should write definition an a cyclic graph is a graph with no cycle and allows to share sub directories and files okay it is used in the situation like when two programmers are working on a joint project and they need to access files okay in that situation this can be used and you can write when the same files need to be accessed in more than one place in a directory structure okay it can be useful to provide 
an acyclic graph structure this is called acyclic graph structure root is there directories are there, are there different files are there okay now fifth one is uh, general graph directory structure general graph directory structure okay we will have discussion about this general graph directory structure <coughs> in this uh, general graph directory structure cycles are allowed within a directory structure where multiple directories can be derived from more than one parent directory okay have a look on this diagram this is called general graph directory structure this is called general what when what minute general graph directory structure in this diagram shows okay <coughs> in this general graph directory structure cycles are allowed within a directory structure where multiple directories can be derived from more than one parent directory okay but the guys the main problem with this kind of directory structure is to calculating the total size or space that has been taken by the files and directories okay the advantages of this uh, general graph directory structure is it allows cycles it allows cycles and it is more flexible than other directory structure what you should write in examination you should draw this diagram this is the fifth directory structure this is called general graph directory structure in general graph directory structure cycles are allowed within a directory structure where multiple directories this is directory this is one directory this is one directory where multiple directories can be derived from more than one parent directory okay multiple directories can be derived from more than one parent directory okay and the main problem with this kind of directory structure is to calculate total size or space that has been taken by the file sign directories the advantages are it allows cycles it is more flexible okay this all all about a directory structure in operating system okay the directory structure in operating system many categories are there first one is uh, single level directory second one is two level directory and third one is tree tree structured directory and a cyclic graph directory and last one is fifth one is general graph directory structure okay have a nice time